Hi, in this video we shall have a look of all the questions which have appeared in the recent exams like NEET MDS, AIMS MDS and INEC interviews from the subject dental histology. Okay, so based on these questions what we will do? We will be trying to identify what are the most important topics and what is the pattern, the trend of the questions that has been asked from this subject. Okay, and on the basis of that we will try to formulate a strategy to prepare this subject. And also I will be giving you a summary of the must study, very important topics according to this. Okay, so we will be seeing that plus we will be going through the app, the Meritors app as the task have been designed there so that you can easily master this subject. So first of all, we will start with the questions. We will have a look of the questions. We won't get much into the details of the explanations. We will just have a look at the trend of the questions that has been asked. Okay, so first of all, we will start with chapter development and growth of teeth. Now this chapter development of growth of teeth, generally the questions are asked from the stages, the morpho differentiation, the histo differentiation, what are the operations of these stages, these are asked and also the structures which are there, structure specific structures like uh, stratum intermedium and all, like they are asked, which are present, which are characteristic for each stage, okay. So now we will see the questions, see which enzyme is seen in the stratum intermedium, I told you specific structures were asked from this, so which enzyme is seen in stratum intermedium, alkaline phosphatase, this question appeared in NEET 18 and 17. Thin delicate membrane covering the entire crown of newly erupted tooth is called as Nasmith's membrane. This question appeared in NEET 18. This is also a structure only. Okay. So, proliferation of basal cells to form Herwig's root sheath. Herwig epithelial root sheath occurs in which stage? That is Bell stage. And this question appeared in NEET 17. Now, see another question. I told you some aberrations of morph various stages like morpho differentiation, histo differentiation. They were also asked from this. So, see here, peg laterals is associated with morpho differentiation. This question appeared in NEET 17. Aberration during the morpho differentiation stage of tooth development will lead to change in shape of teeth. This question appeared in NEET 17. Okay, congenital absence of the tooth is due to the aberration in initiation. NEET 17, this question appeared. Okay, now see next one. Again, an enzyme in stratum intermedium is asked. So, minor peptide is seen in stratum intermedium. This question appeared in NEET 17. Herpix epithelial root sheet is formed by cells at the cervical loop. NEET 17, this question appeared. And blood supply of the dental papilla develops during which stage of tooth development? Cap stage. The stages were asked. Okay. So, cap stage, this question was appearing. Need 17. Now, see, another gene, a gene based question was there. Gene involved in odontoblastic differentiation, that was P21, appeared in Need 17. Signaling for the tooth differentiation pattern of enamel deposition is controlled by enamel knot. Uh, important structure, this was asked directly in the exams, appeared in Need 17. Then, an IBQ was asked in the recent Need, Need 2021. We got a IBQ here and we had to identify the structure which was there visible in this image. Okay, these were the gubernacular canals. Okay, now, till now we saw development. So, I told you the stages were asked, specific structures were asked, stratum intermedium, enzymes two times they were asked. Okay, and you should know like aberrations in which stage, morpho differentiation, histo differentiation, what uh, are the results of the aberrations. Okay, so these were asked. Also, some signaling molecules were asked. So, now we will move on to next chapter that is enamel. Enamel, we will see what type of questions are asked from enamel. Okay, so see novel enamel protein involved in initial crystallization following matrix formation that is enamelin. This question was there in need 17. Tomes process is a derivative of ameloblast. This question was there in need 17. Enamel formation cells are ameloblast. This question was asked twice in need 17 and then need 19. Okay, now see, incomplete formation of enamel matrix is known as enamel hypoplasia. Need 17, this question appeared. Tomes process near outer enamel process becomes straight. This question was appeared in need 17. External manifestation of striophrages. Perichymata, this question appeared in need 17. Okay. Now see, delicate epithelial layer present on the newly erupted tooth. That is primary enamel cuticle. This question appeared in need 17. And another question like sex determination protein, that is ML. And this question appeared in need 17. Okay. Well, little time gap between matrix formation and mineralization is characteristic of enamel. This question appeared in NEET 17. Which of the following is not found in root enamel? This was a basic question in the recent NEET. This question appeared and see this is a very basic question. So, it appeared in NEET 2021. Answer is enamel. Identify the stage of amyl. Now, this was a IBQ. Stages of amylogenesis you should be clear with. You should be clear with all the images and what happens in each stage of amylogenesis. Okay. So, basically here it was asked. Uh, picture of the ruffle, ruffle ended, ruffle bordered, ameloblast was there. Okay, so on the basis of this appearance, you had to identify what stage of amylogenesis is this. And this was the maturation stage. This question appeared in the recent NEET, NEET 2021. Okay, so till now we have seen enamel. What type of questions were there? Basically, the questions were there from structures. Basically, the structure of enamel had to be cleared. Okay, and also what images were there? 
image some ibqs were there okay so now we'll see next question next. see question like odontoblasts are derived from neural crystal neural crystal okay you know that odontoblasts are derived from ectomesial thymus cells so you should do better c options here yeah, neural crystal was the option so neural crystal appeared in neat 19 this question appeared in neat 19 then calcified dentinal tubule wall has an inner lining termed as lamina limitans this question appeared in neat 17 and 19 so basically the question here also like enamel the question in dentin also were from structure only okay now see another questions argentophilic fibers seen in developing tooth these are one core fibers neat 17 this question appeared which of the following is exclusively, exclu exclusively seen in the root dentin? Now, this question appeared in need 17 and this is Tom's granular layer. So, you should be very clear about the structure basically. Secondary dentin is defined as dentin formed after root completion. Need 17, this question appeared. Okay. Now, dead tracts are usually seen in old permanent teeth. Need 17, this question appeared. Most widely accepted theory for dentinal hypersensitivity, that is hydrodynamic theory. This question appeared in need 17. Okay. Now, see till now we have seen dentin also. Basic questions were there from the structure, the types of dentin you should know like sclerotic dentin, transparent dentin, all you should know, you should know the, what are dead tracts and all, okay, and uh, also lamina limitans, basic uh, structural question was there, so basically question on structure of dentin were there, okay, now next chapter we will be switching to that is pulp, we will see what type of questions are um, asked in pulp, basically some questions like zones of pulp and all these are asked, so we will see in detail what questions are asked, okay, now see. Intrapulpal tissue pressure is high compared to other body compartments. Which substance is responsible for this? And that is glycosaminoglycans. Okay. This question appeared in NEAT 19. Transfer of metabolites in pulp is due to fenestrated capillaries. This question appeared in NEAT 18. Now, anatomically, the dental pulp is divided into two portions, the coronal and the radicular. Which portion is located in pulp chamber and pulpal horns? Coronal question appeared in NEAT 17. Size of pulp. Now, See here the age changes of pulp that has been also asked as a question. Size of pulp decreases with age, and this question was appearing need 17. Okay. Next question: type of collagen fibers which are present in pulp, type 1 and type 4, present in question in need 17. Principal function of pulp is formative. Now, here a question from the function of pulp has been asked. Okay, so it is formative, need 17. This question appeared. Most abundant myelinated fibers present in pulp, A delta, this question appeared in need 17. Now see the next question I told you, some questions are there from zones of pulp, okay. So see this question was from wheel zone. Now you should know that wheel zone is cell-free zone in pulp and this question appeared in need 17, okay. Now the question was there, which of these is the best source of dental stem cells and answer was exfoliated deciduous teeth, this question appeared in need 20 and you should go through this question, this is an important question, there is a very good diagram there. A uh, picture you can find in readers and you should be thorough with that diagram because the locations of various stem cells are there in, in that book. Okay, so we will see, now we will see next chapter symptom, before that we will summarize what questions were there from pulp. So basically the fibers in the pulp, nerve fibers, what collagen fibers were there, zones of pulp, these were the, these were asked, functions of pulp was also asked. So you should be thorough with pulp. Now we will start with cementum. chapter cementum. we will see what type of questions were there. Now see first question. With width of the cementum on coronal half, that is less than a pical half, this question appeared in need 17. Type of cementum present when cementum overlaps in level, that is a fibrillar, a cellular cementum, need 17. So you should be thorough with the types of cementum and the locations as well. Okay. Now see which type of junction is not seen at the CEJ, means cemento enamel junction, that is enamel overlap cementum, need 17, this question appeared. Now the next question is thick layer of cementum seen in non-functional teeth, this question appeared in need 17. So now you have, we have seen the questions from cementum, what type of questions were there. Questions were basically like uh, basic structure of cementum was there, the edge, uh, contact of cementum and enamel, that question was there, CEJ, okay, and also the question like types of cementum, you should know the different types of cementum, you should be familiar with their locations as well, okay. So now we will be seeing the next chapter, bone, TMJ and maxillary sinus, what questions were asked from this, we will see that. Now see what is true about the, among the following regarding bone histology, now here the histology of the bone is being asked, okay. So see. Uh, mesiodistal uh, and buccolingual width and position of interdental bone is dependent on the amount of teeth erupted in their position. This is true about the bone histology. Okay. This question appeared in need 17. Another question was there on reversal lines. Lines of demarcation bone remodeling. These are reversal lines. This question appeared in need 17. Okay. Now next question. During bone remodeling matrix or cycles assisted classification is dependent upon prevalence of collagen. This question appeared in need 17. Okay. So Next question, see which of the following defines osteoid. So basically histology of bone is being asked here. Okay, osteoid, osteoid is the newly formed bone matrix with minimal mineralization. This question appeared in need 17. Interradicular bone is made up of predominantly calcineous bone. This question appeared in need 17. Okay, now 
till now we were seeing bone okay so basically what questions were there the questions were there from histology of bone what was the structure what is osteoid and all that that was asked okay now we'll see next chapter that is salivary glands we'll see what questions are asked from this salivary gland now see here basically they are also asking structure they are asking about this myoepithelial cells and asni okay see striated duct cells with deep infolding in basal cytoplasm shows increased number of mitochondria question appeared in neat 19 now the question was there about myoepithelial cells i told you myoepithelial cells serous asni mucous asni these are important okay so see myoepithelial cells are seen in relation to secretory and intercalated ducts this question appeared in neat 19 okay major buffer system now this is a question from saliva okay characteristic of saliva so major buffer system saliva that is carbonic acid and bicarbonate this question appeared in neat 18 okay maximum absorption of ions in secreted saliva which leads to hypotonic saliva occurs in striated duct neat 17 this occurred okay anterior bacterial action of saliva lactoferrin this question appeared in neat 17 immunoglobulin which is present in saliva iga this question also appeared in neat 17 Okay, now see in the recent NEET, recent NEET, NEET 2021, two image-based questions were there from this salivary gland, and this was very important. Okay, you should be able to identify these images well. So these were the images which were put there, which were asked in the exams. First question, see, it was an IBQ. The H and E stained salivary gland cells are shown in the following image. Identify the structure which is marked arrow. So marked arrow, this structure was asked. This is serous AC9. This question appeared in the recent NEET, NEET 2021. Another question that appeared in the same exam that was also an H and E stain salivary gland was there. Okay, and you had to identify the marked structure that was myoepithelial cell. This also appeared in the recent NEET 2021. Okay, so now you saw what type of questions were there from this salivary gland. Basically, they were asking about striated ducts. ACNI, my epithelial cells, the structure you should know. They gave you IBQs. IBQs are basically asked. H and E stain in the recent exams. Those were plus the characteristics of saliva. You should be thorough with the characteristics of saliva, like what immunoglobulins are there, what are the iron concentrations, what are the changes in iron concentrations during their passage through various ducts. So you should be thorough with all that. Now next chapter we'll be seeing that is oral mucous membrane. Okay, we'll see what questions were asked from this oral mucous membrane. See. Which of the following structure is directly attached to underlying bone without submucosa? This is gingiva. This question appeared in NEET 17. Function of odd-line bodies: permeability barrier. Or, okay, this question appeared in NEET 17. Another question: odd-line bodies location was asked. Like odd-line bodies are present in which layer of epithelium? And the answer is straight up spinosum. This question appeared in twice NEET 17 also and NEET 19 also. Okay. Now see, this is a question. IBQ was there from this chapter oral mucous membrane. This IBQ. Identify the structure based on histology. Mucoperiosteum. This was the mucoperiosteum histology. This was asked in exam. Same image was there. This appeared in the recent NEET 2021. Okay. So now you saw like oral mucous membrane. They are asking the basic histology. They are asking the basic histology and IBQ was also asked from this chapter oral mucous membrane. Okay. Now we'll see the next chapter. Tooth eruption, shedding, and some miscellaneous topics we'll be covering here. We'll see what type of questions were asked. So see ligament traction theory. Which cells are responsible for eruptive forces? Fibroblasts are responsible. This question appeared in NEET 19. Okay. So now we'll have a look of the task. Now we'll see how the tasks are designed. Okay. Like on the number of questions, what is the trend of the question? What topics are frequently asked? So on the basis of that, we'll see. See first of all, development of tooth. Many questions were there from development of tooth, development of tooth, histo, physiology, and Molecular insights, amelogenesis, HA crystals and nemal rods. Many questions are there. Amelogenesis, uh, direct IBQ was there on the stages of amelogenesis. Okay, so you should be thorough with that. Enamel and surface structures of enamel. Okay, this was also asked in exams. Dentin and its properties. I told you direct structures were asked, like laminal limitants and all. Direct questions were there. Now salivary gland, salivary gland IBQs were there. Plus. IBQs were there like myoepithelial cells were asked. Okay, serous acini, mucous acini. You should know. So all these are important for salivary gland. Bone and maxillary sinus histology of the bone was asked. Okay, pulp and its zone. Many questions were there from pulp and its zone. What cells are there? What type of fibers are there? What type of nerve fibers are there? What type of collagen fibers are there in the pulp? So that those were asked. Cementum, basic structure of cementum. Okay, and types of cementum and the location that was asked basically. Now, image-based question. Now, here a task has been assigned to image-based question. Why? Because many questions can appear from the images, direct images from the textbooks like Orbans and uh, the textbook which are for oral dental histology, and also some questions like uh, that I told you the location of the stem cells. Location of the stem cells. That picture is given very beautifully in that uh, book of dental anatomy, Wheelers. Okay. So you should see all the pictures. So here, image-based questions has been assigned a task. Now we'll have a look of the app. 
as how these how these tasks appear in the app you can find these tasks under the guided prep guided prep in the meritus app okay you select the subject dental histology and you'll get this these tasks over there now what you have to do see first of all the task we'll see development of tooth many questions were there from the development of tooth histo histophysiology and molecular insight these were combinedly many questions were there some histo some molecules were asked and morpho differentiation histo differentiation aberrations were asked like uh, stratum intermedium enzymes were asked okay markers were asked so here two tasks are there then amylogenesis recent neat uh, question on ibq was there for amylogenesis stages and many questions have been asked from these enamel rods and all okay then see enamel and surface structures on enamel dentin and its properties many questions were asked from dentin and its properties basic structures were asked of dentin okay pulp and zones of pulp many questions were asked from pulp like what fibers are there nerve fibers what collagen fibers are there what are the zones of pulp what is the function of pulp so many questions were there okay so now see another next task cementum cementum many questions are there i told you all the questions like the type of cementum what is the location of the cementum what is the function and what is the basic structure of cementum all those questions were asked from cementum then salivary gland basically what was asked asked here myepithelial cells were asked two ibqs were asked in the recent exam okay so you should be able to identify all those so here salivary gland is here as a task bone and maxillary sinus questions basically from histology of bone like what is osteoid and all okay so that question was asked from this now we have got an a special task here ibqs okay image based questions for ibqs only this special image based question task has been put here so that you can easily go through all the images and you should you will be familiar with all the, all the images when they appear in the exam these images image based questions here will be taken directly from the standard textbooks like orbans okay so and our dh full test syllabus is also there now what is the main significance of this full syllabus test this signifies like if you have prepared all these tasks so by, for preparing task what would you do first of all prepare go through the synopsis read the synopsis in detail then go through the video again okay then practice all the questions which are there in the question bank okay then give the test now this approach will yield you maximum of this subject now after doing all this when you are thorough with all the task you are clear with all your doubts of the task then you appear for this dh full syllabus test now this will give you an overview of whole su subject like how much you have prepared the subject okay so if you are following this strategy what i have told you what approach i have told you here then you will be able to score very good marks in the exams okay so i hope this video has helped you thank you